Tabu, the name is shorthand for excellence. Uh, it doesn't matter what the film is. If she's in the film, you know she's going to bring some heft to it. She's won two national awards. And this year, she celebrates 30 years in cinema. If you don't count the little uncredited appearance in Bazaar. That was 1982, but Ham Rajawan is 1985. And I started here. In Mehboob? In Mehboob Studios. Really? Yeah. How did you find out all these, uh, this trivia about me, Anupama? Are you? Now I can't hide my age anymore. <laughs> but 30 years, yeah. How yeah. amazing of making movies. Have you changed much, Tabu, as an actor? Yeah. Lots. Mm. I get a sense you work on instinct. Yeah. Um, I think uh, <clears throat> my core has been the same. My aspirations, my priorities has have been the same uh, but I think uh, my approach they have changed as a person you know, and that reflects in work you know uh, all of that but I don't think I've changed that drastically like the things you do the techniques the it's more or less the same you because you said that you don't really do research and you're not that type of actor because I didn't learn acting that way you know uh, I didn't go to a film school, you know, so I've been learning on the job, like they say. So I really, uh, I wouldn't even know how to do proper research or how to apply technique or what is the technique. I think I should sit and ask all these theatre actors, what technique is there, tell me. But you do such few films that whenever you do something, it's always interesting to see, okay, what is she going to choose next? Hmm. Um, so what got you excited about playing this very tough cop in Drishim? Were you just kicked about wearing a uniform and kicking butt? Uh, largely, yes. <laughs> I thought so. Because <laughs> it, it must be very exciting. I don't get these chances often. I don't think women get these chances often. And me too, I never get. Because I'm usually like either crying or blowing myself up or having cyanide and dying or you know, something like that. Some dukbari kaani. Ekdam dukbari kaani. And even if there's power, there's really, you know, uh, kya bolte hai? Understated and dormant. But this is very blatant. The power, the authority. And uh, that's what uh, attracted me uh, to this character. <clears throat> and the fact that uh, she comes in so beautifully. I mean, she comes, my character comes during the half of the film. And the fact that she, I'm an inspector general of police, that itself, you know, even if like you do two scenes and you are an IG, then you feel like, you know, my God, I've arrived, you know. And Ajay, I was working with after such a long time and in such a fantastic role, so it all just felt fantastic. You know, I've really enjoyed this whole experience professionally, personally, in, and in so many ways. That's why I'm, I'm actually enjoying promoting the film. And Talking not, about it. Yeah, and I'm not even feeling like, I have promotion to promote you know, because the whole experience has been great. You, Tabu also said that over years, you become more conscious of your image. And you said you don't mind experimenting if the risks are not too high. Hmm. But you never struck me as someone who's afraid of risks. Um, the I mean, you're a rule mind. breaker, yeah. Yeah. No, what experiment in what sense? You know, I mean, you were talking about your image, and but but I've never thought that you've ever had an image or you cared about an image. Maybe I meant my clothes. <laughs> sure, you did. <laughs> I'll wear a bikini if it's not a big risk. <laughs> I think I meant that. <laughs> Correct. If the script demands it. Yeah. <laughs> but tell me, Tamil, what, how hard is it really? Because honestly, you and you'll agree that, that your roles, you've always taken risks. Mm. You, you've never played by the rule book. Mm. So in this environment. If you tell me to follow some rule, I'll purposely break it. Correct. That's, that's how I've led my career. Yeah. You, you. Yeah, mat karo. Nahi karo, achha. Main wohi karungi. Aur bataungi ke this works. You're just a deet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll prove you. <laughs> So what is it like in this industry to actually be a rule breaker and to live and work on your own terms? How difficult is it? Actually, I got lucky because it all worked for me. Uh, because I was just doing what was not normal for a Hindi film actress to do. Not because I was not getting the chance to do that, but because despite getting those chances, I was wanting to, you know, go the other way and try and do it my way and put in my own thing. and. 
do roles that come naturally to me. Uh, I think it's fantastic that I got accepted in that and uh, uh, people liked me and the fraternity uh, accepted me and that this whole thing uh, worked for me and that I could make a success out of it, you know. Um, but you, even if it wouldn't have worked, I would have, I think, still stuck to what I wanted to do because um, I was never thinking of how it will position me and how it will affect me. And people say they, you, you took all the risks, you took all the risks, you took all the risks. But mujhe, they never felt like risks. Like risks. Maybe I, that's why I could do them. They felt logical. But there was no larger strategy ever. Uh, I was always very clear about what I don't want to do. So I think my choices were coming more from no, I won't do this. And if I don't have my money, if I'm not comfortable with something, then I never did that, you know? And not in terms of roles or anything, but if I'm not convinced that I can shoot it in this time, next month, then I won't do it. I won't even go there. Um, and yeah, and uh, that's how it's been. Uh, matlab, uh, I think I've uh, uh, worked hard for that. And uh, my work has carved the path and my, then it became, you know, because destiny is one thing, but you also make, you know. Uh, you make your destiny. Your, yeah. But Tabu, did it ever, <coughs> through these years, um, ever make you angry or did you ever get frustrated watching people who are so obviously less talented than you? enjoying so much money, so much fame. Did, did you ever get angry that I'm so much better? Did you ever feeling? No, because if I wanted that, then I would have done all that that gave me a lot of money and all of that. Because uh, I remember I um, said no to going to world tour that was giving me lakhs of rupees because I had given dates to Priya Darshan's Kalapani, which was giving me 25,000 rupees. Because my priority was something else, and I was very clear about my priorities. I was very clear that I have to film this film. You know? Um, so I never uh, looked at all that. Of course. And, and you never got swayed by the. You know, the thing is that I, I made a lot of money when I was doing all the South films. You know? Um, I made a bungalow in Hyderabad. Uh, I uh, own a commercial complex, a floor in a commercial complex that nobody sees, so they think that, you know, nahi hai, paisa nahi hai, but... <laughs> but actually, <laughs> So I knew, matlab, paisa Miss Wealthy sitting here. Kaha se paisa aane wala hai, aur kaha se role aane wala hai. So I was very clear about, You're you know, smart, pocket. you've been smart. Ah, Tamil films ka ye purpose hai, Telugu films ka ye hai, ye hai. So, then whatever you want, you do, you satisfy every different thing will give you different things, you know. So I made a lot of money and uh, enough to, enough uh, to satisfy my needs, you know. Um, usse zyada excess I never thought and I don't think I can even manage because uh, I get uh, worried if I have a lot of money also, you know. <laughs> then because then how to invest it and how all that. So I quickly want to spend it, you know. I, I mean my thing is that I should be able to travel abroad at least like twice a year or at least once a year for a fantastic vacation, stay in a good hotel, wear good clothes. So utna mere liye kafi hai. And uh, I feel everybody, like I said, everybody works according to their priorities and they're happy in, in doing what they're doing. My focus was on many other things apart from money and fame. You know? Fame, I, I mean, okay, it's an offshoot and it's a result of what you're doing. That's all it means to me. Tabu, you know, I've been covering Hindi cinema for almost 20 years now and I still remember a time when I began when like the only women on the set would be like me, the heroine, Correct. the heroine's mother and the heroine's hairdresser. I've been on those yeah, sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Correct. And, and now I see women like Farah and Zoya and, yeah. you know, Ikta Kapoor in positions of power. real power. Yes. And in positions where they're shaping material, they're shaping the way we see Hindi cinema. I find it very inspiring. Is it inspiring for you or do you feel like, you know, that all this is lip service, ye jo, it's the best time to be a Hindi film heroine? I don't know. I, I mean, I, see, like you said, there's a change that there are a lot more women on set there today are. And, and in different positions and all that. There has been. But 
I don't know if we can really make big stories out of it and you know. Maybe it's too it's early fine. to blow the bugles. I mean, see the thing is, strong and powerful women have always inspired me. You know, Farah has been a friend for such a long time and she inspired me with her talent, with her dedication and with the fact that she has the ability to you know, be in control of so many things around her. Absolutely. You know? like when I see Meera, her with the three kids and the three maids, I'm exactly. just like, Farah, how are you even doing exactly. this? Exactly. And uh, when I look at Meera, Meera has always, Amazing. you know, yeah. really, I am amazed how yeah. she manages her career to her family and to reach this position globally. It's fantastic. And you can, as women, you can just get inspired and feel that, okay, it's possible. And I think, I, Every woman in her way is contributing hugely. You know, uh, the person who does my hair, if she was not there, my hair would not look so great. You know, obviously, Tabu, you, as you yourself said just now, you, you've never invested in this rat race. You've never seemed anyone like the person who's thinking about the box office. And not office. purposely. I mean, I don't know that I'm going to go to the rat race and That was not the thing at all. You were just born this way. I was just doing stuff and that became a way of people saying that she is not in the right list. You know, I was do doing what I was wanting right. to do. Right. That's all. But but tell me, Tabu, are you, then should we as outsiders observing you conclude that you're just very evolved or are you just lazy? Two polar opposite <laughs> adjectives. I don't know what to decide. <laughs> I think I'll go for evolved. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I am Zen Master Tabu. <laughs> I'm trying to get there and I'm trying to find ways. <laughs> but Tabu, are there any, any regrets ever? Do you ever wish you had pushed harder? I think I pushed myself too hard, yeah. I feel that for my work and for my films, I pushed myself a little too hard. You know, because those films uh, were not easy. Matlab, in that way, I pushed myself hard. I don't know in what way um, you may mean it. Um, I think I think I should have been easier on myself. In terms of the roles? No, I, no I'm... in terms of putting so much hard work. You <laughs> should have been lazier. Yeah, I think so. You know, I think I'd, I'd worked with too much sincerity and too much discipline. I wish I had the ability of reaching five minutes late on set, you know. I think people would have taken me more seriously or something. Now, everybody puts a shoot according to the fact that, oh, she'll to come on time. So, no baje shiv rak sakte. Like some actors have a reputation, aray aro aayegi, nahi, gyaare baje se pehle nahi aayegi. So, don't even call her. I wish I had built that about myself, you know. Hmm. It's not too late, Tamu. I'm starting now. Yeah, that's it. I've had enough of this interview. <laughs> it's time to be the diva now. Yeah, yeah. 30 years you've been sincere. No Once we had met and you had told me about how you were sick and tired of being taken for granted by like people who have these great stories. At least in their head, they were great stories. But I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I have made a reputation. I have made a picture. I have made a career established. Later, we will get a lot of money. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. It does not matter. She's here for good cinema. Ah. That was not my intention at all. I was doing those films because I wanted to do good acting. I did not mean to, you know, <laughs> fill your pockets and empty mine. Tabu, thank you. Thank you. And, and I will let you move to a cooler room now. Hopefully. Subscribe to Film Companion. Hit that button below and get your film fix.